It's been a turbulent time for American airspace and defense firm Boeing. Boeing has been facing troubles with safety issues on the fleet of 737 series passenger planes. Forget planes. Even Boeing's spacecraft is facing engineering issues, battling gas leaks and multiple delays. The Boeing Starliner craft is still in space. The craft is scheduled to return to Earth sometime next week. So what's the big issue that's plaguing Boeing's spacecraft? Boeing's astronaut-carrying spacecraft Starliner is on its maiden test flight to space. On the 5th of June, Starliner mounted atop the Atlas V rocket and lifted off. It was carrying two American astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams. Their destination was the International Space Station, a football field-sized lab that circles 425 kilometers above the Earth. From the very beginning, Starliner had been facing troubles. At the time of the launch, there was a helium gas leak in the capsule. Despite that, the team went ahead with the launch with complete confidence that they could still make it very comfortably. Helium is commonly used in almost all spacefaring rockets. Helium, it's an inert gas which does not react with other chemicals and materials. Helium is also lightweight in nature, so huge quantities of helium can be compressed in small tanks. In most rockets, helium is used to pressurize the rocket's fuel tanks. Simply put, rocket fuels have to be fed to the engines at a certain pressure. By using helium gas, fuel can be consistently made to flow into the rocket engines. Through the course of Starliner's journey to the International Space Station, it faced a series of helium gas leaks. Five of Starliner's 28 thrusters had failed. However, the leaks only delayed the primary mission by an hour and the capsule docked with the International Space Station as planned. Helium leaks can affect the firing of small engines, which helps the Starliner capsule steer itself in space and adjust its position. Originally, the Starliner test mission was to last only eight days. However, with the ongoing helium leaks and the related analysis, it could return only by the 26th of June. The helium leak issue sounds dangerous, but NASA and Boeing maintain that all is well. They say that the Starliner capsule contains 10 times more helium than it actually needs for its return mission. But space flight is never easy and nothing can be left to chance. In space, there's always a possibility of error. Space flight, it's the hardest engineering feat known to mankind. Irrespective of how much testing is done on Earth, there is always a risk. In space, under vacuum conditions, under extreme pressure variations and hostile environments, components and materials behave very differently than they do on Earth. For Boeing particularly, Starliner's safe return is extremely crucial. Starliner was meant to undertake its maiden flight by the year 2020, but suffered multiple delays owing to technical en engineering issues. Even as Starliner flew to space, it faced a few leaks, which further damaged Boeing's faltering reputation caused by safety issues, as I mentioned earlier, in their 737 series of passenger planes. America intended to have two astronaut ferries to the space station. One is Boeing Starliner, the other is SpaceX Crew Dragon. Mars Falcon 9 rocket started ferrying astronauts to space in 2020. The Falcon and Dragon combo, it's done multiple trips to the International Space Station and back. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the point at which the vehicle experienced a series of events. Miko, stage separation, SES-1, and this is followed by stage separation, which is when the first... Next week, if all goes well and Boeing's capsule returns to Earth safely, we will have to wait and see. That's something that everyone's waiting for. But their teams have a lot of work to do. Boeing needs to fix all the problems with their capsules, which would take months of tests, re-engineering and testing. What's worse, the portion of the spacecraft, which is suffering leaks, would not be brought back to Earth. It is designed in a way that it would be discarded just before the craft returns to Earth. Boeing had been hoping to perform routine missions with its Starliner from 2025, but the ongoing issues don't inspire much confidence. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.